So tonight, while COVID cases and hospitalizations are declining across the U.S., North Carolina is among eight states reporting 15% or fewer ICU beds are available right now, putting a strain on the hospital system. Those numbers indicate the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic is far from over. And tonight, we're hearing firsthand from a local doctor about the difficult decision to put a COVID patient on a ventilator. You have to take a moment to pause and wonder, will this be their last breath? that they'll see somebody? Will this be their last meal that the one they've just had? Will that be the last time they see their family members with their own eyes in without a breathing tube in? Um, you do wonder about it because of the mortality is high. Serious questions there. When a COVID patient's lungs are so damaged by the virus they can't breathe on their own, doctors put them on a ventilator. The machine supports their body and helps them breathe until they're strong enough to do it themselves. New here at 6, WCNC Charlotte's Chloe Leshner is at Atrium Health with the long-term effects of being on a ventilator and has a local woman's experience. Doctors say putting someone on a ventilator is a necessary medical procedure, but being on it for an extended period of time can cause complications. Tara Jones was intubated for more than three weeks. She wasn't sure she'd survive. The moments before doctors intubated Tara Jones are ones she'll never forget. FaceTiming her husband and four children, knowing her odds of seeing them again were slim. I was pretty sure that was going to be the last word I spoke to them. She spent 24 days on the ventilator and says she had horrible nightmares, feelings of panic and paranoia. I know that they would bring me in and out of consciousness to see if they could wing me off the ventilator. And I can remember some of that and thinking that they were trying to kill me. Take a quick listen. Dr. Jaspal Singh is a pulmonary critical care specialist at Atrium Health. He tells his patients they don't want to see him in the ICU, being put on a ventilator, often a last resort. And in COVID-19, those patients can oftentimes be on a ventilator for days to weeks and sometimes even months. And so that comes at a significant cost to their health. Someone who's on life support for a long period of time will often get infections, blood clots, or pneumonia. After coming off, they can have trouble eating, sleeping, or walking. Even though those who survive, I've had so many patients and families tell me they're not the same people. Tara's life is changed. Immediately after being taken off the ventilator, she suffered severe memory loss and couldn't talk or write. She still struggles to breathe. One of her vocal cords is paralyzed because she tried to pull out her breathing tube. Especially if I feel like I'm getting short of breath and a lot of that has to do with my vocal cords, but still it causes me to panic. Doctors say 98% of the people on a ventilator right now are unvaccinated. They say you want to avoid being intubated and getting a shot is an easy and safe way to do that. At Atrium Health, Chloe Leshner, WCNC Charlotte.